All right there, my name's Ragtag, and I'm the greatest gutter tier gamer to ever walk the face of this planet. And today, I'd like to tell you a story about death, but more importantly, life before that death. Because the longer we prolong the inevitable, the better. Especially in a game like Apex Legends that enjoys leaving you stuck bollock naked with peanut butter plastered all over your ball sack as it continually huddles you towards a pack of ravenous wolves that are ready to devour your plums and batter your body into the void, which is otherwise known as beta cock oblivion. Well, that's what happened to me. I enjoy queuing with a friend or two now and again, especially my buddy Zoom, who lives about 20 minutes from my house. Now his favourite place to land is Airbase. Don't ask why, we just tend to win more games with that as our starting location. That and mainly because his long range shots are to be feared as fuck. However, when you get tossed into a pit of howling devils, it doesn't matter what you do, especially when you're shite. Oh my god, there's another squad here mate. Oh, I'm getting fucking wrecked from Anus. Oh. I don't have a gun. <laughs> this was the moment where I had to decide between intellect or the power of having big brass balls. On the one hand, running away would definitely increase my chances of survival but would probably condemn my teammate to die. On the other, charging in with my beautiful kunai that respawn manipulated my account to get so that another YouTuber doesn't quit their game would show the power of my gigantic plums. However, I decided that I was comfortable letting my teammate die. But also, it turns out I got no common sense whatsoever. Oh. Oh, yes. I play the hand I'm dealt. Got the whole squad. I'm the farmer. I need help. Mate, I am so fucking low right now. Yeah, yeah, come into this place. I'm gonna drop a health in about 20 seconds. There were a lot of enemies outside, so our best shot was to remain inside and lure the wolves to dinner. But our teammate had a better idea. Oh. Fucking, why the fuck did he. Right, nice. I don't think. I, I don't think we should um, go across. I think we should try and get his banner. And oh my god, come in, come in, come in. I'm gonna climb up here. And uh, if he comes in here, I will fuck him. Hopefully, I won't get a big man, though. That's alright. I'm gonna put a wall of fire if he walks in here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Enemy down. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Killed an enemy. Have you got your healing thing? Aye. Me, what the fuck was that bullshit? It cancelled. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy there. <gasps> it's alright. What? Oh no, fuck. And that's the beauty of this series. You never know when I'm going to do something completely fucking absent of reason. But I'm glad you're here to listen to my tales of phasing right into a goddamn plethora of buckshot. Well, let's get on with the next piece of bullshit. Oh, but wait, first, what if my tales series became irrespective of whatever game I was playing? How would that look? I think it might go something along the lines of this. A city plunged into darkness. The war on crime has failed. In their most desperate hour, one man will take the fight to the enemy. But there's just one problem. Someone get this fucking dog off me, I can't- Oh, Jesus! He's a complete idiot. <laughs> Fuck you! Starring Ragtag as Billy the Ballbuster McLeod. Dirty, dirty bastard. You think you're gonna date my sister, do you? Uh, control the suspect seems to have escaped over. Uh, not really. I just fucking hate paperwork. Still transmitting over. Oh shite. Uh, shots fired, shots fired, officer down, officer down, female suspect, I am in pursuit, required immediate assistance, over. Danielle Nungesser has 911 hand. Sellout Productions presents Tartan Justice. 
Yeah, I suppose you can't hype up a trailer unless you're gonna blow something up, so... Bitch, I got problems, oh, problems, oh, problems, oh, problems, oh, problems, oh, problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm... Well, the rest of the Apex Legends games didn't go too well that night, but the next morning I woke up. Well, I say morning, I mean 3 p.m. I crawled to my PC for a little solo queue with the usual low expectations, but my crusty eyeballs found some lubrication when I guided my squad towards the delicious landing zone in the center of Skulltown, my personal defibrillator for my cold, dead heart. With a not completely useless start regarding weapons available, I was happy that this wouldn't be another air-based disaster. And as soon as I realized that my teammate was in combat, I rushed to find out if assistance was required. It was. Take that, you slow motion bastards! That's the fastest three kills I've ever had! You ever notice that if you pull off a magnificent fluke like this where you disassemble an entire squad, all of a sudden you find yourself with a newfound respect from your team? Whatever their intentions were before, you're in charge now, not just because you take their banner and give them a gentle reach around at the respawn beacon, but because you saved their life by entering Rambo mode. You clearly know what you're doing, right? Shame they're gonna find out you're a bag of shite. Well, I knew it couldn't last forever, but I thought I'd better take advantage of it while I could, so we headed to Thunderdome for a little bit of loot and hopefully some better armor. I'll be honest, I wanted to hold on to the respect they had for my giant ding dong, my tra la la, my capricious cockles, my jit. Uh, you get the idea. I just didn't want left out of a good fight. Now one thing I'm starting to learn about this game... Aiming down the sights is a waste of time. If you don't ADS, then you don't have to aim. Life is simpler when you just pray and spray. Save your eye coordination for soda bottles on a long journey, or those unnecessarily small piss holes in French campsites. What do you mean that is a shower? Anyway, we're in closing in, and we had a long way to go. With the airstrike coming in hot, my team badly wanted to play it safe and go around the outside of the rocks to avoid that fight. I mean, there'd be a fair bit of danger to run at the enemies, which is something I really badly wanted to do, but it seemed that I'd be going 1 versus 3 again if that was my decision, so I decided to play nice. What are they doing, fucking pussy-ass bitches scared of a couple of missiles on the ground? Now eventually, we made it to the next ring. Got ourselves healed up, and then we looked to regroup. But it turns out... There were a lot of other squads doing the same thing. Close. Shame. I can only hear him, I don't know where he is. Oh, stick that mirage up your cock hole. Oh. Oh, every fucking time! Oh. Is that a trap? That's a lot of damage for a trap. Oh no. No, you did not. Oh, fucking dingling donkey! What, the, what was this? Jesus Christ, what did I stay in there for? Stupid fart eating crusty monkey cut. Well, now it was Damien's turn to carry the team. Fair's fair after all. What I did for him was much better than what he did for me anyway. I landed, they stopped me full of syringes, told me to go back for loot. So I looted. Uh, I healed a bit. And then I found some more loot, and then I healed, and then I ran, and then I got a COME ON MAN! So I healed again, and ran, and got myself to the edge of the ring, and healed again, and then I found out the ring was closing, and so I was like, fuck, I need to run again! And finally, by the time I caught up with my teammates, I was exhausted! I didn't sign up for a fucking running simulator! He 
You might be thinking that the moral of the story here is don't cancel your shield battery too early, and you'd be right, it, it is, but seeing how you're probably a dumb dumb dickhead like me, you will make mistakes like that as well, so no, the moral of the story is actually when someone types to you in capital letters about what to do next, just remember, it's better to die with an alternator in your hand than live long enough to see a leaking arsehole need a good butt plugging as you stagger across a radiation field. To some, winning's winning. And to me, shove it right up your dickhole and buy my mugs. You motherfucking c-